I'm sprained, I'm strained, and I'm frustrated and saddened because of Whitey Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is, is kind of somber because this is the final Manga Nerdigan live reaction video for Shokugeki no Soma, aka Shokugeki no Soma Legisert Chapter 3 or Shokugeki no Soma Chapter 315.3. So a couple of things before um, getting to the, uh, this live reaction. Um, one Crunchyroll Expo is this weekend and I am going and I can't wait to meet you know I'm so excited and if you guys have any questions uh, that you want me to ask Yudo um, or uh, even the uh, Shokugeki no Soma anime producer because uh, they're going to be there or the, um, the actual manga artist um, uh, is going to be there as well please let me know in the comment section or on my Twitter because uh, I will definitely ask them at the um, at the manga panel. I am gonna get my my little Takumi uh, autographed by Yudo. I already said that uh, that I was going to do that on Twitter, and I have my uh, Shoko Kiki no Soma shirt that I'm definitely gonna get autographed um, at Country World Expo uh, this weekend as well. I'm really really goddamn excited for that. Um, also, um, the other thing I want to mention is I'm really goddamn sorry that uh, everything has been um, really late. I'm going through a lot of shit right now. Um, uh, including going back and forth to San Francisco, um, to find out, um, what the hell's going on with my, with my arm and my elbow, um, and getting treatment, and, uh, at least I know, um, what the timetable's looking like now, which is, which is really, really goddamn awesome. But anyway, um, last, uh, chapter of Lead Dessert was was really really interesting so we got we got the backstory um behind uh jotaro and um and uh and soma's mama and oh my god was it good i really loved their backstory i loved it i loved it i loved it but the second half of the chapter was kind of weird because we found out that there was almost some incest <laughs> between Arita and Asahi. Yes, I'm saying it right. Asahi. Because I, I know I was getting some shit. I was saying Asashi, but it's Asahi. Um, yeah. Uh, turns out Asahi is Arita's half-brother. So yeah, there was almost some incestual, incestual, incestual sick shit going on. Like, what the fuck? You know, what were you thinking with that? Ugh. But anyway, um, something I'm very curious about, like, and I was thinking about this on the way, uh, back from uh, San Francisco was I'm, I'm very curious if Yudo sees himself in Soba like the frustration and everything because like he can't please everybody I mean he's freaking Soma can't please Arena he can't Arena can't say that his that Soma's food is delicious like I really am getting I'm getting that sense that like Soma represents Yudo and that Arena represents the goddamn fan base. <laughs> anyway, let's get to this chapter and uh, see how uh, Shokugeki no Soma is going to end. No, really, I'm not some criminal, I swear. Then what's with the knife? What are you doing walking around with something like that, huh? Well, you see, I... What are you doing? Stop wasting the gentleman's time and let him through. You're free to go, sir. Your gate is right this way. But, Chief, are you sure, are you sure we should have let that guy go? Who's he get such a special treat, uh, such special treatment? Ha! Huh, I believe I recall you talking uh, yourself up as some um, something of a foodie at our last office party, but it sounds like you were just a big talker, especially if you can't recognize Chef Soma. <laughs> there he is! There's Soma! And this chapter is titled Le Future. And before I forget, yes, who I'm talking about besides Yudo, it's going to be at Crunchyroll Expo. It's going to be uh, um. Uh, Seiki, Seiki's going to be there. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have both of them signed by my, uh, my little Takumi and my shirt. I don't know if I'm gonna have the anime crew sign my stuff though. <laughs> I only want the manga people to sign it. I'm not gonna lie. Also, I'm gonna, something I'm definitely gonna ask you know is seriously, please for the love of God, get some shirts at freaking Uniqlo. I want some manga shirts at Uniqlo from them. Oh God, I love Uniqlo. Uh, I, yeah, I recently discovered Uniqlo, which is which um, has awesome manga shirts. Hot topic, you better be watching out. Uniqlo coming for you. They are. I swear to God. Anyway, let's keep going here. Um, Totsuki uh, Sario Culinary Institute, Dean's Office. Ugh, you never change. Would it kill you to give me a heads up when you're coming home? 
As you wish, the Divine Tongue will graciously accept your challenge. I'll get in touch with the usual people to come witness the event. See you then. Miss Serena, I should contact the usuals, yes? I'll send an email immediately. Excellent, uh, Hisako, please do. I wonder how many will be able to attend this time. I hope everyone is doing well. Hmm. Uh, what, he's coming home? Dang it, I, if I'd known a little sir, I could have taken the day off and flown up to Tokyo. There's... Ooh, Shiki's 26 now. Okay, so, um, he gained his independence when he was, uh, the first in the Shiki family's long history to be granted permission to establish his own branch restaurant. He's currently gaining popularity in Kyoto culinary circles as a master of blending the traditional, uh, with the fresh and new. He's my favorite Kuga Senpai. I love Kuga Senpai. He's my husband. No, I love Kuga. He's my man. Um, after graduation, he was con um, uh, contracted to work with multiple five-star hotels in Shanghai, Tokyo, Hawaii, and other popular resort destinations. Uh, he currently owns five Chinese restaurants, serving um, as uh, the head chef of all of them. That's my man. Okay, well, uh, I just remembered something else I'm going to be asking you, though. I already know I'm going to ask you, though, this. Is I'm going to be asking about the confirmed ships. I'm definitely going to, and I'm definitely going to ask if, if this, it's not going to show up in here. If, if right now, ex Casa is a confirmed ship or not. Or a ship or not. It, I need to know. Sorry, sorry, no can do. I'm li literally getting um, on a plane to China. Oh, he's been inspired to create another new recipe? That's so neat. Huh? All right, Megumi Nini. Uh, it's time to prepare to open. Okay, that's a, 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 another ship I need to get confirmed. If it's not here. Is uh, if, if Nino, if, um, uh, not Nino. Uh, Nini uh, hooked up with, uh, with the Shiki. We need to know. Inquiring minds need to know. Uh, so Megumi uh, Tadakuro, age 25, with Megumi as head chef. Her family's traditional inn has grown notorious as one of the most difficult uh, restaurants in the Northeast at which to get a reservation. Oh my god, I swear this manga really got the bleach slash uh, Toriko treatment. Oh my god. I, I, oh god. Oh, you know, why couldn't you get, to, get what Sarachi got? Ugh. Uh, to wit, um, uh, which to get a reservation during the off season? She uh, spends her time helping at uh, Hinako's restaurant, uh, Kirini, uh, Kirinoya, and um, learning the ins and out, outs of uh, being a, a restaurant owner. And uh, speaking of uh, Nini uh, Kinokuni, deciding uh, deciding to study Japanese cooking traditions outside of the Kinokuni family's wheelhouse, she's currently uh, traveling the country's training at various uh, restaurants. Oh, how I wish I had the chance to get to know you sooner! It's so wonderful to meet you, Nini. Um, boy, how about up in the discounts a little, eh? Show some generosity, uh, Ms. Uh, Mito Group owner. Fucking Eisen! <laughs> um, think of the customers, would ya? I'm already giving a big discount. How about, um, you think of something, uh, besides your commission? There's Yuki uh, Yoshino, and then there's Yukumi Mito. Uh, come on, guys, be nice, uh, uh, Kay? Oh, hey, a text from Secretary Girl. These, uh, three recently started a joint meat distribution business. Um... Ibusaki, uh, Sakaki, and some of the other for, uh, for, uh, former Polaris residents have signed on to the venture as uh, culinary advisors. Oh, that's pretty cool. Seriously, we're not getting confirmed. We are not going to get ships confirmed. We are not going to get confirmed ships here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm going to definitely ask that question at the fucking Shokukiki no Soba panel. I have to ask it. I'm sorry to you, anime. Uh, uh, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to say sorry to the anime only. I'm going to just say deal with it, motherfuckers. I need to know what ships are, are confirmed or not. I have to know this. So the scents you detect with the nose, uh, um, the uh, orthonasal, com uh, combined with the smells you perceive with your mouth and tongue, the retronasal produce the flavor we taste. Um, Akira, uh, Akira Hayama, age 25, quickly uh, piling up an impressive portfolio on the uh, theory of and interactions of uh, aroma in the human ol olfactory sen uh, sense. He has already earned a position at Tutsuki as an instructor. You know what? That does not surprise me at all. Um, he's also received an invitation from uh, Gin uh, from Kichijima to someday work at in um, administration at the Tutsuki Resort Hotels. That doesn't surprise me either. Oh, okay. So Florence, Italy. So you sure haven't? Uh, you sure you haven't forgotten anything, big bro? Mm, my, oh my god, the Aldinis are looking fine. I'm sorry. Nope, I have everything. Let's uh, make this trip just as successful as the others. So, the Aldini brothers, age 25. Equally skilled as chefs, uh, the two continue to grow and gain fame as uh, the twin stars of um, uh, Trattoria Aldini. A few times each year, they travel to Japan to open a, a pop-up restaurant. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a pop-up restaurant is, it's basically a temporary, as a restaurant open in a temporary spot for a limited amount of time. Um... um limited amount of time only 
Uh, such places are often run by famous chefs invited for just that purpose. Oh, hey, a text from Murado. Huh? But look, he'll be coming back to Japan right when we'll be there. Perfect, I'm even more excited about going now. Let's go, Izami. Right behind you. Uh, see you later, Mom, Dad. It looks like I don't need to worry about Takumi anymore. When he went to Tatsuki Institute, it seems he found friends who were ve uh, very good for him. Tatsuki Resor uh, Resort... I feel like they're trying to like, sit them on another fucking old video. It's a really hard need to know happen. Tatsuki Resort Hotel, the Tatsuki Villa. Whoa, I just got a text from Secretary Girl. She's... I swear to God. You know, you better confirm my my Rindau uh, Tsukasa ship or I'm going to be mad. Whoa, I just got a text from S Secretary Girl. She says Nakiri's uh, taking him up on another challenge. Really? Oh, I wish I could go. If we weren't all stuck here as judges, we could have been witnesses for it too. Uh, prove you are worthy to survive the rigors of hell camp. Come on, move it, move it. There ain't much time left on that clock, you know. Hmm, I wonder if anyone here is good enough to uh, recruit for my restaurant. Uh, so there's... Of course, there's Tsukasa, uh, Rindau, uh, uh, oh, Megashima's there too, and Momo and Saito. Oh, sweet. All, um, all five uh, have opened their own restaurants and have earned stars from the WGO. That does not surprise me. Currently, they're serving as guest judge for Tatsuki's annual Hellcat. Really? We're not going to get confirmed. <sighs> We're not getting confirmed. This really makes me mad. <sighs> Mm, uh, how many, it's been how many weeks since he was last home? Sheesh, it appears he all, he's also inherited um, his father's wanderlust. Jochiro, your son grows more and more uh, like you by the day, and that's a good thing. And that's a good thing. New York City, uh, Manhattan. Oh, Jochiro, okay. Uh, he's 48 now. Cur uh, currently uh, revitalizing his career um, as a traveling chef who can make any customer, customer swoon no matter what country they're from or if the uh, fare is uh, high class or lowbrow. The rumor is that he used to have his own restaurant, but he's since passed it on to his son. The truth is not public knowledge. What the f Oh, we're not going to see it. We got the bleach treatment here. This is some bullshit. My, we got the bleach treatment minus ships. This is some bullshit. This is the worst. This is worse than bleach. This is more, at least with bleach we got confirmed ships. My God, Nakiri Mansion um uh, Gardens. Well, well, well. Guess who's home? Oh my God. If Alice X Rio is not confirmed, I'm gonna be really mad. Um, who's coming home? Rio, you know we have to be here. Oh, sorry, we're explaining shit. Rio, you know we have to be there. Alice Nakiri, age 25, appointed to the position of site manager at Nakiri um, International last year. She spends her days um, immersed in researching ways to make high-level molecular ga uh, gastronomy uh, practical and affordable for common average uh, for common families in the average uh, restaurant. And there's Rio Kurokaiba. He continues. No. No, the chef is not confirmed. Damn. He continues to serve as Alice's reliable aide while simultaneously working on improving his own skill as a chef. He also dabbles in marine biology, researching the effects of climate uh, change on the world's oceans and looking for more sustainable fishing practices. This is so not freaking fair. Oh, this makes me mad. Uh, uh, miss, you're scheduled to appear at the Molecular Gastronomy Society's meeting that day, you know. Pfft, it'll be fine. I could just, like, drop in with a quick hi and bye. Uh, you're totally coming too, right, Asahi? Asahi's there too! Heck no, I've got three classes to teach that day. Are you kidding me? Um, so, let's see what Asahi's doing. His life... As yeah, he's just his name to Asahi Nakiri. His life has taken uh, many twists and turns since he uh, uh, washed his hands of his uh, past as a cuisine noir. But a few years ago, he was finally recognized as a, an official member of the Nakiri family. He currently teaches several cooking pra uh, practicums at both the middle school and high school levels at Tetsuki and has quickly become one of the most popular teachers at the Institute. Anyway, forget that. Where's my precious baby sister, Arena, huh? She's taking her time and I'm starving. <clears throat> Asahi, that sloppy posture is unbefitting of you. Straighten up. This is an official family luncheon. M meh, who cares? It's not like anybody's watching us. That attitude is unacceptable, young man. You are in Akiri now. You must carry yourself in accordance with your station. Spoken just like a father trying to lecture his rebellious son. I believe they say arguing is proof of friendship, yes? <laughs> Slowly but surely, they're behaving like a parent and child. I love it. I, I, like, I like the bond that the, they have. God damn it. Like, oh, God, this chapter is, this is like the worst ending ever. 
I'm terribly sorry for uh, the wait, everyone. Oh, you, um, oh, took you long enough. Let's get this lunch started. Rio, could, uh, Rio, could you serve, please? Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah. A minute, please. Um, several days later. So here we go. No way, the shutter is already up at the Yukihara family restaurant. He actually arrived on time for once. I'm impressed. Ah, there you are, Arena. Oh my, what brings you here? Nothing much, just, um, uh, just got a call from, uh, the grandkid is all. Now, I, I know it's been years since I retired from Yukihara, but if I didn't come here to clean the place up every once in a while, I'd probably go senile. Um, uh... Kazusato Yukihara, age 71. For years after passing the Yukihara restaurant to Jochiro, he stayed on as a secondary chef, chef helping out in the kitchen. Now, nowadays, he enjoys a leisurely retired life at his home several stations down uh, the line from the restaurant. Besides, the place what needs it with uh, what with the boys' tendencies to just wander off to who knows where at the drop of a hat. I see. Will you be joining us this afternoon, uh, afternoon then, Grandfather? Nope. Going with the senior club on a trip starting today. Tell the boys I'll be back in a week, would ya? Okay. I gotta say, you're a sweet young lady to continue accommodating that boy whenever he's got some new recipe idea in his head. But don't feel like you're obligated to, okay? If it's a pain in the tush, make sure you tell him so. Hmm? Oh, no. Uh, no, it's, er, it isn't a bother at all. I swear to God, if this is the only, if Arena Exoma is the only ship we're going to get confirmed in this chapter. Like, because we already know um, Arena Exoma was, was, was going to be confirmed, period. Was confirmed anyway by Yudo on Twitter. Like, that's really going to be goddamn disappointing. Like, I, I, I know some people are going to be like, fuck, we don't give a shit about ships and all that shit, but, like, and I know, I can't believe I'm being one of those people that gives a fuck about ships, but goddammit, there were some, there were some ships that I was totally invested in, in, in this series, and I'm not happy right now. Um, especially Rendau, Rendau, um, ex -Ucasa. I'm not, I'm not happy that that was not confirmed, and same with Rio ex Alice. Oh, oh no, it, or, it, it isn't a bother at all. Besides, uh, besides, he's an alumnus in a uh, former first seat. As dean, it's my duty to um, support our alumnus as well. Uh, or sorry, as support our alumni as well as our uh, students. Uh huh. However you want to justify it. Uh, well, you have fun then. See ya. I do feel uh, do feel it's my duty as dean of the institute. But is that really all it is? Back uh, when we were both still third years, uh, and I found the note you uh, you left saying you were suddenly going abroad, I really had a feeling Yudo was was gonna do like a really cool like, uh, like a Soma journey arc or something like that. That would have been so fucking sweet. Ugh. I was absolutely infuriated. I think I know um why that why that was. I always thought you'd be there with me, uh, uh, cooking and competing uh, whenever we wanted. But instead, you left without a word to anyone, not even me. To me, that was. Uh, you know back then, um, uh, you know back when he and I first met, what was it he said to me? Um, something about how the trick to, uh, being a better chef was finding someone who means so much you want to give them the best food you've ever made? Something like that, anyway. Here, Tamako, try this. It's a recipe that hit me yesterday. Mmm, good stuff. You always come up with the greatest ideas, my love. Urgh. Mommy, mommy, look, I made something, too. Oh, it's, uh, what do you think? Is it better than Daddy's? Um, whose is yummier? Mm, well... Looks like Daddy's is still the better one. After that, challenging Dad to a cooking contest became a daily thing for me. Dad, I challenge you. Oh, oh sure thing. Bring it on. I'm home. Hey, Mom. Let me help you prep. Okay, first of all, why the fuck was this not in the last chapter? Instead of the Asahi shit? Like, I feel like this should have been in the last chapter. But it's okay. I I'm gonna roll with it. Uh, Mom. It seems she had a minor birth defect in one of her heart valves. Normally, defects like this will heal naturally as the body grows, but not always. Because she dis uh, displayed no symptoms up to this point, early detection would have uh, would have been difficult, I'm afraid. Mm. Her battle with her condition lasted all of one month. It was way too short a time to brace for a final goodbye. Dad, I challenge you to a cooking contest. All right, you're on. Sure, every time I challenged Dad, it was because I wanted to beat him as a chef. But back when I was a little kid, I think there was probably more to it than just that. Someone you want to cook for more than anyone else. Someone special. Someone you want to uh, dedicate the best food you've ever made to for, uh, forever. I think that special someone... So, uh, okay, I understand. I understand why you put it here, you know. But goddammit, I kind of wish it, you, uh, that was in the last chapter. Though we skipped a, um, class and a lot of his other responsibilities, he still somehow managed to graduate from Tatsuki. As head chef of Yukihara, he opens the restaurant only on an irregular schedule. Uh, he spends most of his time traveling overseas, having been invited to cook all, all over the world. Amongst the foodies of the world, the chance to taste some of uh, Chef Selma's cooking is the is 
fast turning into a mark of prestige. I'm home. How you been, Dakiri? Um, Rita Dakiri, here we go. Finishing her schooling at Tatsuki while still performing her duties as dean, she easily earned top marks on her final exam and graduated with flying colors. Now the dean full-time, she has grown into a highly competent leader, continually um, championing, championing, championing new uh, innovative outlooks on tra uh, traditional cuisine as she... Um, Pushes the Tutsuki brand uh, further and even higher than it's ever been. Well, welcome home. Welcome home. Well, I made time in my busy schedule to be here, Yukihara. Don't you have anything else to say to me? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. You won't believe this recipe, though. It's amazing. Sheesh. It's always recipes with you. But it's strange. Somewhere along the line, I've come to look forward to tasting um, your dishes. To look forward to seeing you. <gasps> at, least we could, at least this ship is confirmed. We already knew this ship was going to be confirmed, though. Right, let's get to it. I picked up a few more tricks along the way, you know. Get uh, ready this time, for sure I'm going to make you admit it's good. So what will the lady be having? Hm. Let's see what you got, hmm? I'll have one chef special, please. Coming right up. Ah, the lights are already on. Yeah, looks like they're here. Uh, um, yo, mind if we come in? It's been a while. It's been, uh, it's been a while. You, Kihara, you best believe you aren't getting away before I can challenge you again. Oh my goodness, everyone. I'm surprised at how many of you made it. Yep, like we, to uh, Toads made sure to get all our work done super fast so we could come. Yo, guys, thanks for coming. It'll be good to have this many witnesses to finally prove I got Nakiri to give in. Just a heads up that this one's gonna take a while. You know what? Let me whip up some s quick snacks for you to munch on. This is another new recipe idea I hit on, uh, not that long ago. Oh, oh, what is it? I wanna try it. Squid legs and peanut butter. Oh, that sounds gross. Marinated in coffee. Mixed with sweet and sour habanero pork and simmered in mint sauce. Come again? Um, so much. That's a bit much. Oh, come on. Just taste it. Dig in. So gross. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, Yukihara, I cannot believe you, right? It's unbelievable how I continually reach new levels of grossness. She's just such a clown. Yeah, happy to serve. There, it's ready. This time, I swear it, this will be the dish that mi that'll make you say it's good. Dig in. What? What? Okay, I gotta say this right now. This has gotta be the worst. Uh, this is this is ending. Has to be the worst goddamn ending in manga. This is worse than goddamn Bleach. This is goddamn worse than uh fucking well fairy tale. That's different because we got 100 years quest. This is worse than Bleach. This is goddamn worse than um, a fucking uh, Toriko. Because at least with Toriko, we got an idea of what was going to happen in like the future arc. And what was in store. But what the hell? You know. What the hell is this? What kind of ending is this? You don't know no goddamn shit. We didn't even get the confirmed to read it. The Kitsuma ship. What the hell? Oh, man, I'm so goddamn disappointed in this. Worst, god, uh, worst goddamn ending for me. This is the worst goddamn ending in manga right now. Oh, my fucking God. What what a huge disappointment. Sh I, I, and I know it's not all Yudo's fault. This is all, this is all on you, Shuesa. This is all on fucking Shuesa. Well, not all. Part of it is on Shuesa. Because Yudo could have made it work. I think Yudo could have made it work. But the... But, oh god, I, I feel like if um, Yudo would have made the jump to Giga Jump uh, sooner, I think it would have been a little bit different. I think we might be, have a little bit of it. Like, I think if the blue arc would have been in Giga Jump, I think we would have seen something, maybe seen it would have been a little bit different. I, in all honesty, I, I think if I, I think the blue arc should have been in Giga. The blue arc should have been in Giga. I, I honestly believe it. Shway said, "You gotta, do, you gotta change, you gotta start changing your strategies here, because too many good mangas are getting cut too soon. This is one of them. This, this should, this should, Shoko should have not ended like this. You know, you deserve way better than this. I'm, and I will tell you that to your face, you know, you deserve way better than this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm very curious. What, uh, I'm curious if you guys think this is worse than fucking um, Bleach and uh, and Toriko." This is, this is, for me, this is definitely the worst goddamn ending. As of, oh, the, and, oh, yeah, and I, I gotta include Moggy in this, too. This is worse than goddamn Moggy. Moggy was really goddamn bad. Holy shit, I almost forgot about Moggy, but Moggy not uh, on Shueisa end. 
Uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans. Like, if you love what I'm doing, you want to help uh, keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more manga content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.